we're going to the bird mart. No, not by train. Oh, that would be fun. So we're on our way home, we went to the bird mart. I'm gonna give you a warning. I'm going to put the raw footage in. So it's gonna be really loud with the birds and the people talking, but you'll get the full experience that way. And if you don't want all the noise, just turn on the sound down. Not that bad. These are hangers. Oh, these are hangers. So today, we're at the bird mart. Isn't that bridge beautiful? That would be beautiful. Gary built a pond and had a bridge like that. So we're at the bird mart. I'll tell you a story once we get in. All about the bird mart. We have been to the bird mart before, but it's been many, many years. A lot has changed since we were here. And that's how we're spending our day today. We are doing something very different. That brings back fond memories. <laughs> Does it bring back fond memories? Yeah. Okay, that's where we are. We took a ride. So let's go in and see what there is. Hello, oh, these are probably weavers. Silver bell. Strawberry fences. I'm assuming all are still coming through quarantine with this many. Well, there's one cutthroat back there. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. I had a cutthroat years ago that talked and it loved my daughter Deborah. Loved her. Used to fly to her, kiss her, the whole thing. It was unbelievable. Rhodogaris and these are white wings. A lot of these are found in the wild in the United States, especially California. You'll hear them chatter. When they break off as pairs, you'll see two, and then later on you'll see a family, usually of about five, flying around. Lubbers and cockatiels. Some deep space lubbers. Some black mass mutation lovers. These are English budgies. See the size of them? They're much bigger. All right, let's just keep going. A lot of lovers there. Gary's looking at finches. He loves finches. I'm just looking at all these different birds that are showing up. Well, they have to become too quarantine, right? That's all yeah, they have to open up quarantine again. I miss my jacket, Amy. I used to do a little lift dance. Well, do you want a pair? I don't know where I would put them or start again. Are you? Yeah. And we got mutation conyers. We got mustache parakeets. And they're over there. It's very hard to walk around. There's a lot of people. Let me see if I can show you. Those are mustache conyers. That's much faster than the mutations. More mutations, and then of course you've got 
some conyards, some of them look like it could be hybrids, some of them conyards. And those are babies that you can see a little bit more Oh, and then right here, those are parrot lips. There's a yellow mutation in there, which is normal. Yeah, it's pretty much like a 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 I hear you've got a lot of rosella. There's the rosellas up there. And then you've got all kinds of different rosellas up there. And you've even got a piece of whales up there. It's called the Princess of Wales. Again, these are English buggies. Got some half moons. Hey guys. Some conyers. More green teeth that are high that are hybrids. Not hybrids, I'm sorry, they're mutations. And we got some big Amazons. Oh, they've come a long way since years ago. <laughs> now I'm not sure where they're coming from, but there are a lot of them that fly wild in California, and if they know where their nest is, they can't stop them from removing them because they were, let's use the word introduced, but they nest in the wild. Those are probably um, yellow shoulders. Could be orange shoulders, but they're not, they're not blue friends. Okay. Bring nuts, all different colors. Jerry's waiting for me, so I'm going to keep going. More conyers. Oh, you like pink? These are birch or bork. Mutation rosellas. More rock pebblers. I've never seen so many rock pebblers. These are all birch. That's more of the normal color, the gray. And then they bred them into all these different colors. Cockerichis! Oh my gosh, I love cockerichis. Oh my gosh. And that is a light colored one. That's not the normal color. Normal color is a dark, deep green. Come here. Nothing more beautiful than all these colors they developed in these leopards. Got the different mutations in there. They've got a Lutino. I don't know if they call that a cinnamon or what they call the light green one. And then of course they've got the blue. Alright, let's keep going. Green wings. And then these are hybrid macaws. Oh, hello. And then we got the Yeah. That's the back side of where we just went. I am not so there yet. Some people are wearing masks, some are not. 
They've asked people to wear masks because we're really high again with COVID. We're just not going to take a chance. Oh, that's the coal. Also called the white front chair camouflage. We've got a kite there. Hand aids. We got Panama. Probably a young yellow nate. Another yellow nate. That's the back side where we walked before. That's the back side. These are Nandes. You see how much of this pipe? A four year old male. That's not much that great. A blue crown. Wow. Now the first ones we went through, no tail, no feathers. That's, there's a name for that. There's a, there is something called beacon feather and I'm not sure if that's what it is or somebody pulled them all out, another bird or himself. Now you're going to see a repeat of the same stuff because when we walked in, they had pretty much everything. There's lovebirds for 95. Different types of conures in here. I think they've got something else in there. Might be a young These are diamond doves. They come in all colors. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, different. Oh, different. Oh, different. That's a really nice bird. They look like they're tiger stripes. They don't have a lot of stripes on them, but they're really normally tiger stripes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Red Factor Sun Conner. I can tell you a story on that. There is a way to color feed that. So whether they'll see that red, I don't know. But I talked to somebody very big in England on that once. I'll talk about that maybe another time. It's not important. But they are beautiful. Oh! Blue head in the car. Very interesting. This is actually quite nice. Nobody can stick their hands in and mess with the birds unless they want them to. Now we've got white wings in here. We've got baby plum head in there. That would be a baby plum head down there. Those are the white wings. Those are the brodigaris, the ones I told you that fly wild. we got a bossa. Oh, look at that. It's a black parrot. That's a baby bossa. And then we've got some bare-eyed cockatoos here, 3,008. I like the display. I, like, I do like the display. What it was saying on those birds is I'm not saying that they have not been bred to that color. If you can color feed them. And I color fed once with food a green carrot and turned them brown. It was an experiment. It worked and they were very anxious. I don't want to get into details on it. It's not that important in the UK that I had done it because nobody had done it. And it was something that they learned that these birds do carry the red. So you can enhance red in a lot of birds. Even when you don't see it, it's there. Not that you care, but it was just something interesting. Okay, let's walk over. There's Gary. Oh, what beautiful birdhouses. 
Look at all birds out there. There's nothing nice for birds around the yard. And these are button quails and different things in there. It's going to be hard to get in there. More button quails. Okay, so these are mainly button quails in here. Small quail. Okay, I lost it. Oh, there he is. And then bird toys. Lots and lots of bird toys. Did you see the black parrot, the bossa? Yeah, that's cool, huh? A lot of Amazons. I mean, a lot of Amazons. All right, we'll just keep going, and we'll see how it goes. And Jerry said we haven't gone down this aisle. It's on both sides. That's got some ringnecks there and some more budgies, more Indian ringneck sprays. These are the gray ones plate, whatever you want to call them. Then you've got cockatiels, you've got different canaries over there. Just, there's a lot of people, so it's kind of hard. I don't want to push my way in. So a lot of the same birds. Here are more burks up there. Oh, look at that. There's no sign. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> No sign on them. I believe they're elegant. Okay, more canaries down there. I don't want to swing you around too fast. More Amazons down there. Oh, I love it. Sir. Uh, there's the Goliaths, all different colors. They've washed out a lot of colors. They can look different. You know, the original Goliath, which is the one with the purple, is actually the prettiest. Don't get before you. Yeah, they come in looking prettier by you. Thank you. You know, that's just something people do. Lorikeets, rainbow lorikeets. More lovers, more conyers down there. Okay. Let's go find Gary. This is a lot more finches, different finches in here. More cutthroats, some silver bills. You got a green finch in there. You got shock tails in there. You've got gullions, more diamond doves, all kinds of zebra finches, more zebra finch mutations. And I'm not sure. What is that, Bert? Uh, blue, red, blue red rum. Blue red rum. So oh, that's right. Blue red rum. Look at that. Females always on the red rum washed out. Isn't that gorgeous? More large. You're going to head that way. Okay, I'm following you. I'm actually surprised. I'm going to catch up with Gary in a minute. There's a lot more birds here than I thought. More gullions, more budgies. Some things have prices, some things do not. More ringnecks. No, that's actually an Alexandrine parakeet in the back. It's bigger than the ringneck. And then there's green cheeks, more green cheeks, more green cheeks. I think we've been here. Nope, that we haven't been here. That one, that's the back side. Let's keep going. Put it, put it, now what are they doing? Are they seven? Turquoise. Turquoise. That's what I meant. Turquoise. Wow. Of course, they're not supposed to be that color. They were, they were developed into that color. Look at that. Remember, in the wild, a lot of these birds are not this color. This is something that was developed over the years. So you'll see colors here that you would not see in the wild. So if you looked them up. They wouldn't look that way. So they keep babies in containers. Because that's what they do when they're in the nest. They sleep. And that's all they do until they're completely ready to come out. So this is actually okay. This is a good thing to do. Nobody can touch them. Nobody can mess with them. And they eat when mom comes in or if they're being hand fed. And then they go back to sleep. Well, sometimes they start playing with each other and pruning themselves and stuff. 
Senegal. Senegal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Senegal is one of my favorite. They're from Africa and there's some Myers. Your Myers. Now here. I let you go, but I would rather do it again. Yes. <laughs> nice name. Your name? Ken C. Number 10 and the C. Ken C. Let me go over there and catch up with Jerry. Yellow, and then there's the white wing on top. Again, you've got canary wings, and then you don't have the white. So it's a white jacket. Epileptic, originally from Australia, that is a male. The females are red and purple, and the males are green. So they're easy to tell right when they're babies. Right there, and there's some baby Amazons. I'm <laughs> 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 It could not be mixed with carrots. So. You know, everybody has their own thing. I don't tell them what to do. An array of Australian birds, original Australian birds, and then of course you've got the conyers that are here. That is beautiful. They're bred with a lot of color. They're mutations. There's more burks, the pinks and the regulars. There's cockatiels. Oh, Air bands. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Princess of Wales. Beautiful. Don't have the name Princess. Okay, so we're done over there, and now we're gonna follow Jerry. We <laughs> have dogs that are visiting. These are more toys. You gotta get hard wood for these birds because a lot of them will just go through anything. More lovebirds, different types of lovebirds. You got fishers, you got peach face, you got mutations, you got blue mass. You got more lovebirds in here, all different colors because they're different types and different mutations. Walk over here real quick. Patagonia? Yes, Patagonia and Conyers. Now here's the female of the Echolectus that I showed you before. See how they're red? And the male was green. Completely different. Those are Patagonia and Conyers and they're very brown. Very beautiful bird. Half moon. More Conyers, more Amazon. Those ones I will sell for uh, for $200 less. Yeah, but you have to take another uh, Amazon. And these are yellow nates. Yellow nates are known to be one of the best talkers when it comes to Amazon. Best talker is always the African gray. But the yellow nates are fantastic. And then the double yellow heads are next. And then from there, the other Amazons will talk too. All right. Kind of have an overview of all the people and what it looks like. Boy, the stories I could tell you. So I didn't say much. There's Gary. And let me tell you something. That is the first place I met Gary. I was walking around at a bird mart one day. Was it love at first sight? Hey, we'll talk about that later. But that's what it was, a bird mart. So we haven't been to a bird mart in a long time. We decided to go ahead and walk through. Beautiful setups. Everything looks really nice and clean. There are nest boxes. He has a very soft spot for finches. Oh, 
Et nos honneurs, ça me rappelle un peu, non C'est un peu plus de And it's a galah cockatoo from Australia. Of course, that's not from Australia, but originally from Australia. And then all the canaries. And again, a lot of the budgies here are very large, so they're all English. These are zebra finches. A nice size. Those are big ones. This overview. More jacarinis. Where? Oh, in that other cage there. I didn't see it. You'll have to point them out. Let's see if we can get over there. Gary likes his jacarinis. Where are they? There's two sitting in the back. Jacarinis. Oh, that's the black one. Yeah. Gary likes them. They dance. They spin in the air when they're courting and they dance. And strawberry finches. See how red they are? very hard to tell through the wire, but through this. Oh, too close. The strawberry finches are red. They have dots and they're red. And then the jacqueline is black. And I'm assuming that's the brown one and the female. So you've got strawberry finches, a male and female. See the male on the strawberry finches is red. It's dark colored with the spots and a red face. And then the female is brown. I'm trying to get right there, see? That's the female strawberry fence, and then that's the male. There we go, there's the male. Got a red yet? Then you got the jacarini. Oh, it's a hybrid. Yes. Oh, yeah, it does have a black bib. Pointing up near. Okay, so you've got a zebra oh, fence in here that's crossed with an elephant. Focus on him. <laughs> and then you got the strawberry finches, the pairing. I ain't really see them. See how they are? The male is beautiful red, the female is plain, and then the jacarinis, the male is black, and the female is brown. Oh! Oh my god. Gordon Blues, yeah. I saw a couple of those. Alright, we'll keep walking. Now we've got some different pheasants here. Yep. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there, but there's some pheasants. Well, this over here, That's a pair. Gosh, I knew their name and I forgot. Reed. Those are the reeds? Yeah. Okay, Lady Amherst. There you go, Lady Amherst. Okay, I knew that was Lady right. Amherst. Lady Amherst, the male is gorgeous. You know, play most of the pheasants are that way anyway. The golden pheasants. Pairs and females are always... Land. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, there's two in there. Oh, those are silver sessions. Okay. Again, an array of ringnecks. Now, all different colors. And coffee peels. That's the true albino. They're completely white. No red cheek. If you want to see the prices, I can just so you get an idea. What it costs to have a bird. I don't have any I don't have any rice. I don't have any rice. I don't have any I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
I'm the one that I got three of them. Let me just come up. Over here, we can walk over, but they're all different mutations, ring nuts. And then I think they've got, they've got a Swanson lower tooth down there. More cockatiels, more budgies, more lumbers, more canaries. All kinds of fences, of course. Oh. Oh, the 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 some of these. All the fences. A whole mix of fences. Oh, there's your weaver. You know what's fun on the weaver, weavers? Let me tell you something. These are weavers. Off season, when they're not in breeding condition, right now they're still breeding because they'll breed through spring and the summer. By late fall, they lose all that. And the males that are brightly orange in there, that bright red orange, they will actually turn brown. I actually bought one years ago. Oh my gosh. 40 years ago from a lady for a couple bucks. And she promised me it's a male, it's going to turn orange. And it did. In three months, it turned orange and black with the black head. So they look exactly like a female off season. Oh, that's a mix. Birds are fascinating. Fascinating how they can change during breeding season. The cutthroat with the red throat. Let me see if you can see it there. You probably can't. The females do not have the red throat, and the males, if you ever found one and hand fed it, they learn to talk. Like I said, I had one that talked and loved Deborah. Oh my gosh, she'd walk in the house, it would fly to her no matter where she was in the house. He would scream for her. He absolutely loved her. Oh, I like pretty cake. Let me tell you something. They're miserable to clean. See the top? See where it goes around there? As they sit there and they poop? Right down onto your table or wherever you've got it. But they look pretty. So you think about design if you ever want to get a cage. Oh my goodness. Hornbills. Look at all the Amazons. Oh, we, we came this way, didn't we? Or no? No, we haven't done it. All right. Are you talking to me? Oh, you're gacking your baby. You're making 
baby sounds. Yep. Baby sounds. That's baby sounds. Now, I will tell you, if he wasn't a baby, sometimes a bird that's not feeling well will do that too, to kind of revert that. More macaws in here. And then they're just kind of chilling out on the chair. You guys are sitting there. Got a, an African gray. Mark a laws. There's, there's Lori. Where's Lori? Her booth, I guess. Where's you see Lori? The, yeah, oh the other Oh my side. gosh, that must be a kid. I'm going to go say hello. I'll wait till she's not so busy. I have not seen her in what, 20 years? Uh, here's some birds. I know this girl. I haven't seen her. She probably won't remember me. She has beautiful birds. Look at that. Beautiful birds. I have nothing bad to say. See if she recognizes me. Like I said, I haven't seen her in about 20 years. Let me see well, aren't you pretty? And this again is an eclectic, and that's a female. Like I said, the male is a green. This is a mini macaw, is what this one is. In my but I do have other ones that are either rescued or whatever that I've gotten very close to. And you know, my little cross because she's an unborn Every time I come by her, she's in the middle. There's the hyacinth over there. And um, she's my little. I own a few. 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 Hi. How are you doing? I got two babies in the top right now. Little Hansies are so freaking cute. Hansies. Macaws? Is there a miniature macaws? Yeah. I'm still hand feeding them. Yeah. Hey, do you have a card? Hey! Oh Oh, you want me to shut it off? I don't care. It's probably been 10 years. She remembers. Look. The baby. The baby. The baby. Okay, I'm going to shut this off for a minute and then I'll come back, everybody. Well, as you saw, she remembered me. I pulled the mask down. And she starts screaming. All right, so then we've got more cockatiels, more beautiful budgies. Budgies everywhere. We pretty much have seen the whole thing now. See, these are much smaller. You can see that there's some that are really small. And then you've got the bigger budgies, which they call English, and they may have other names for them now. More ring necks. I think we've kind of walked through the whole thing already, haven't we? What I don't see here, which I'm surprised about, is t-shirts. Gary wanted a t-shirt. So, so you know, people still wearing masks. You're supposed to, a lot of people don't want to. I'm not taking a chance. I can't take a flu shot because I'm allergic to flu shots and I want to make sure I don't get the flu. The flu is what almost did me in once, about 10 years ago or longer. People are wearing masks. Beautiful setup. Bird feed, different types of bird feed. Harry's gonna walk over there and see that. And then you've got all your plastic toys. Got more set up of cages, all kinds of cages. And you know I've got a cage set up just for the birds to go in and out of. Actually, that's a dog crate. I do have cages though too. That's right, in my rainbow garden, I've got a rod iron cage that I let the wild birds go in and out and this way the hawks can't get them. And then, uh, oh, plants, we see plants. Look at that. I don't know where Gary is. Oh, there's Gary. Wandering around. Look at all the plants! Look how beautiful! And this is what my granddaughter wants to get into. Succulent plants. Look at that. Spider. That's the only one that's not a succulent. Spider plant. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh, wow. 
These are all outdoor plants. They're all for outdoor, aren't they? Outdoor, not indoor. The only one would be a spider plant. You can put in the windows, but with a sun. Well, what is what is this one? Oh, how much is it? This one. I'm just curious. Fourteen. 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 Yeah. But that has to be outside. I was thinking the mission wants to be cactus. Yeah, it needs a lot of sun. Because she told me she wants to do cactus, and I was thinking something unusual. I, I know what the, the family, I know the family of that, but it's um, related to the pencil cactus. Okay, because you've got a red one, and I just thought the purple one was unique. You could do a cutting off of it, too. I'll have to figure out $14. That's not bad. I don't know, you know, what she likes, so I could buy something and she doesn't want it. It just caught my eye because of the flowers. But I don't want to bring something home that doesn't do well in the house. And then you've got some sort of little rose here which is set up really nice. Okay, well, we'll see. Let's keep going. Any direction you want to go in? No, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, Jerry says. Okay, I don't know what $3 each, but it isn't the birds. It must be the band. So, because it wouldn't be the birds. And there's more rosellas. Look at the coloring. Be gorgeous. Most people keep birds like this and large Avery's in their yard. And then the Amazons tend to go for pets. I think we have done it all. We've done it all, haven't we? So, Jerry. We're going to go. We'll talk more about when we get out about it. Nothing else? So I think we're going to leave. I may go say goodbye to my friend that's got a, the setup here. She's the only one that I know here. I just thought I might. I know different people in animal, uh, in the animal business. And they're kind of like, well, a lot of them are retired. I knew zoo people. And I know they're, oh. Looks like it might be a diamond dove. A diamond dove, yeah. Uh, a diamond dove out. And door is open. So he hits the door. He is out the door. And then you know what? They're not used to flying. And they end up coming down and somebody finds them. And that gets all the birds screaming when a bird gets out. People are really usually good. Rarely do the animals get out. I mean, they don't want to lose their animals. They cover, see what screen and different things to reach their hand in. Look at the canary with a little beetle cut. So I think we have covered everything. I haven't been to a bird mart in years. So we thought we'd do something really different today. It's going to go work on different things and I thought, no. I think we're going to do this very set. Let's do something different. These are show boxes. This is how they would show their birds if they were selling them. Because so they display really nice. They would have one bird in there and then they would be judged. And that's why they're using them here. Because you can see with the white background. Everything is, when it comes to that, is presentation. Alright, so I think you've seen everything.
What's up, Robbie? So we are leaving. We've seen the whole place. And we're going to go out. So this is something I saw a couple people we knew. And now we just have to find their car. Anyway, so that's it. See if I can turn this around. So, what is, how did it feel going to the bird park after all these years? Yeah, it, was, it was good. It was kind of. So, this is where I met Gary at a bird park. We were actually in another building that's back there. It was much bigger back then. And it wasn't in this small building. And did you come over to introduce yourself to me? Yes, I did. He introduced himself to me. And that was the end of it. <laughs> Day. That was the end of it for that day, and then we ran into each other again and found out oh, maybe we have a lot in common. I don't even know. One thing leads to another. So, all right, so we're going to go home. Oh, there's that bridge. Let me show you the bridge from this side. So, everybody, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. He likes this. This is beautiful. That is done really nice. Look at this. The rocks. And then it's probably cement. I don't know what it is. Um, it would be like a type of cement.
I can remember this. I'm going to say over 50 years ago. So this thing is really old. I think it's been restored, but it has been here for a long time. Look at the two trains. I had to shut my camera off because yes, the parents asked the kid if he wanted ice cream, he screamed no, and I stopped, shut my camera off. I said, did he just say no to ice cream? They said yes, because he loves trains more. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like this little outing we did today, we don't do a lot of outings, let me know and maybe we'll do some more outings and share it with you. So again, everybody have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And this was so much fun. Thanks for joining us on this walkabout at the Bird Mart at the Fairplex in Pomona on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Bye-bye.